Hello, this is Gray, and in honor of hitting 1,000 subscribers, I wanted to do a book look through my sketchbook. This is my high school sketchbook, and as you can see, it is very loved. I put a bunch of stickers on it, and it's just kind of beaten up, but I love it so much, and it means so much to me because this is the first sketchbook I ever was able to finish, and I'm very proud of that and it kind of shows my progression as an artist and how I like got better over the year. And I use the back for a base to roll clay on a lot, so it's kind of dirty. But anyways, going into it, uh, this is the first page, it's kind of boring. I was like not creative when I got this sketchbook, so I just kind of wrote my name and my phone number in case it got lost, but I'm covering it with my business card. <laughs> And as you can see, it's a very loved book. It is broken and ripped up, but it's okay. The first page is just like, um, I used to swatch the colors because I was like brand new to using um, like markers. So I need to swatch them. And this is my first ever marker drawing. Um, it is, it's not the worst, but I'm definitely improved. Um, it's kind of fun to look back at it. And a lot of the pages are empty because I just like got so frustrated I couldn't finish them. This was a plan for a ceramics project I did. I drew those on bowls. This page I was super proud of. Um, I did like white pen over my swatches and I thought it looked really cool. And I made these little characters like falling all around. And there's my bunny mask. I'm going to start to the bunny mask drawings <laughs> and then more blank pages because i'm so creative this was a homework assignment i just had to draw something so yeah that's what i drew of course it was a goldfish and this is the first like comic or like full page marker thing i've ever finished and it's not like the best but i'm very very proud of it it is just like these little mushroom people or root people in the in the mushroom area <laughs> And they're just like talking and they're friends and it's it's stupid but I just love it. It's so cute. And I kind of did the characters. I drew them on the other page. Just little drawings of them. But yeah. This page was also a homework assignment. Um, I kind of hate it, but like whatever, I got the homework assignment done. This was another like character design. Oh, and then I drew Jaehyun, but it looked really bad. So I ripped it out and used the half to make it like evil root person. But um, I kind of like how I used two pages, but yeah, just the character design. This was a commission that I never finished. It was for my friend, but I didn't like it anymore, so I didn't finish it. And then this was the layout for a ceramics project. These are more homework assignments. On the left was like those like sketches where you don't see what you're doing. This is disregard that. This is another homework page. <laughs> I was gonna do like Inktober, I think, and then I gave up, or Quarantine Tober, whatever it was. And then this was another homework assignment. I just had to do a self portrait does not look like me and this was really cool actually this was the sketch out for a mural i did for my dad and i used like these really cool like markers they were like posca markers and yeah it was really fun um this is just another throwaway page i tried to draw my friend it looked really bad this is kind of embarrassing um dom looks trash oh those little characters are cute but dom looks so fucking ugly and um Lily, is that their name? Lily looks really cute. Sorry, I have not played Animal Crossing in a minute, but the frog looks cute. This was a T, draw it, T I, or D Y T Y, whatever the fuck it is, <laughs> um, for my friend Amy Efforts. D I T Y, I think. Yeah, draw it. I don't know. Um, this was a sketch out for the first um, self-portrait I did, and I actually still kind of like it. And then I was in a like illustration class for like a day, and then I got too anxious and dropped out. So that's what those sketches on the side are from. 
and then this is also like we had to make a card and then a magazine cover for 2020 so that's the card i made uh, i was really obsessed with animal crossing if you can't tell but that was like i actually don't hate the magazine cover i think it's actually really cool this is embarrassing <laughs> don't look at that another blank page because yeah this is one of my favorite portraits i've ever drawn like ever um this is solely a few you, you will notice in this uh sketchbook that i draw solely a lot i just she's just so beautiful that i can't not draw her you know but um yeah and then this is the character design for my woodland sheep this is the first drawing i've ever done of them um it was originally going to be a strawberry but when i started sculpting it it looked more like a lamb head so yeah these are just kind of character designs for that i was very excited to start this project and i still love it today more blank pages this is embarrassing yeah cover it up <laughs> um this this is not as embarrassing it's whatever that's now in june uh this i was really proud of i did like a little photo shoot and i drew it for my class at the top of the page was like a 10 minute warm up of like some toys I had on my desk. But I was super proud of these. I I still like them a lot. I think they're really fun. This, um, I don't know why, I just drew a whale. That was probably like a homework assignment. And then I wanted to draw my cat and I think it's still cute. And then that's like some famous cat my friend told me to draw. I don't remember its name. But I like how it turned out. This, okay, so I was trying to learn how to draw faces and I used K-pop people a lot because there's so many portraits of them. So I drew Go On and it was like, whatever. I drew Eve and that was kind of, kind of, I don't know. But this is all homework that we did like during class on Zoom. So those 10 minute sketches and some sound or like draw what you hear things you know and then that does not look like eaves at all but it's not the worst <laughs> this is chew um the left doesn't look that bad the right looks really bad um <laughs> i don't want to talk about it but this is like the first drawing that i have of my woodland sheep people so it's really cute i still have it up on my instagram if you scroll all the way back and then oh no <laughs> that was just really bad <laughs> I was trying to draw Jinsoul, I think, and it just, like, it did not work out. But here are just more, like, low characters I was drawing. I sculpted these eventually. The, you'll see it on the next page. I tried to draw me in the middle, but that was so ugly, so I covered it up. But the characters I really like, and I actually, yeah, I drew them, or what? I sculpted them, and you can see that on my Instagram, too, back in 2021. And then this was Jimin. It's whatever, it's not like the best, but it, at least it kind of looks like him. <laughs> that was November 5th, 2020, so I've improved so much since then. <laughs> but yeah, that's not like the worst thing I've drawn. And this page I actually still like. This is Soli again. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty proud of this. Um, yeah, that's Soli, and then that's Hyunjin on the other page. That, that one's kind of ugly. Looking back, that's ugly, but I like the Sully page. And then this was, I was going to make like a box design, whatever. This was um, like thoughts of a, a logo, I don't know. These are all just like designs I gave up on. This I was really proud of, that's Yonggi from Dejita, whatever the, <laughs> I sound so white, but from that music video. And this was a design for uh, one of my first big drawings I did. I really like it still. And that was my first ever gouache painting and I wanted to put it in my sketchbook. And that's Unha that looks so bad. <laughs> like it looks like a person, but it doesn't look like Unha. And here's just another comics page. I was messing around with more character designs. Um, I don't know why. I guess I got frustrated give up on this but I mean I don't think it looks that bad so I don't know why I didn't finish it this I was really sad so I drew like broken hearts around it <laughs> this is really bad I was trying I wanted to draw Unha so badly but every time I tried it looked so bad <laughs> I might try again one day um the yeah this was like 
layout for the box project I never did. These are the See No Evils in Wonder Egg. I needed them and this was like a big blank page. Okay, that is the ugliest drawing I've ever seen of Young Jin. Um, that's Jimin, doesn't, oh, this is so bad. That's so embarrassing. I like didn't have a skin tone color, so I just used like yellow, like, because I didn't have skin tones, but this is my ceramics portfolio. I wanted to put it in because at the time I was applying to Scholastics and I wanted to kind of photograph all of my pieces and like have them all set up in one space where you can see them. Um, these were just little doodles I did like I think I was anxious one day, so I just drew them. And these were the designs for my um, tattoo. And this is a note my art teacher's daughter wrote me. It's so sweet, I, she's so sweet. But, and then up above was a letter the vice principal, or the principal sent me when I won the governor's show. But yeah, those are some tattoo designs. I ended up doing the middle right one, and it's on my arm. That was March 29th almost a year ago now um i don't know what this is that is really bad <laughs> this was um i think i drew these for class one day and this was the day i got my skin pack of like skin color pack of copics so i was just kind of messing around with them and i drew little bunnies and that's another like i was messing around with the skin tones and there's Soli again. I love Soli so much. <laughs> this one is not my favorite, but it's not like the worst. It's Soli, so obviously I like it. And this I drew not sober, but it's kind of just a character design sheet. <laughs> I actually really like it. I really like the side on the right. I think it's really nice. And that was, um, I just kind of continued the character design onto the next page. And yeah those are just some photos that didn't fit on my portfolio page so i just kind of stuck them in here i tried to make a pocket and it did not work <laughs> washi tape does not work for everything apparently but this was really cute this was a little comic i did um i don't think i included this in my portfolio but i i liked it oh, i was gonna do like a three page comic but i gave up because i got bored of it but i really like this little drawing in the left corner <laughs> i think it's really cute and he's all sad because he misses him. This, I was trying to like figure out how to draw bodies. So these are like some photos I found on Pinterest. And this is so bad. Like what was I, what was I doing? This is Hitomi from Eyes One. She, I still love her, but these are not it. Like these are so ugly. Oh, they aren't that bad. They're kind of cute, but they're not, I can do so much better. And then this was like, this was like when I was rushing to get my portfolio done. So I did like this, three page comic and those were just like the thumbnails for it this was more homework assignments i didn't care enough to finish it this was also a rush for my portfolio it was just a what's it called i don't know i don't even know what it's called still life that's what it is these were just little sketches i did i was just bored this was the setup for a my woodland sheep setup. Um, I didn't obviously. I didn't follow any of these ideas, but I kind of. I kind of did. I kind of followed a few of them. But yeah, this is more messing around with skin tones. I think I got a red pen, so I was using that and like seeing how it goes. This was the thumbnail sketch for the next photo. This is one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. Um, I, I I don't know what I called it but I really love it. It's so cute. These are just, I, I just wanted to put the drawing in and those are just some random sketches I did. These are trying to, again, draw bodies. So these are just random people on Pinterest that I added heads to. Um, the girl on the right, I think was like a dream catcher girl. It looked really bad. And then I got crayons, so I drew the stuff on the left. <laughs> um, this page I learned what, I was trying to learn what gouache was. <laughs> so, um, I really like that sketch, but I like realized I don't like gouache. So, yeah. 
I used Gouache on this page with the red. Oh, I really like that girl. I like the eyes up at the top too. And that little drawing of the evil rabbit. This I'm super, super proud of. This is Sinbi from G Friend. Um, I like it because it can show that I can draw realistic drawings. I just don't like to because it takes so long. So, but I am really proud that I stuck it out and finished that. I was gonna do like a diptych, but I did not finish it. <laughs> I got bored. And this is more homework assignments. That is like keychain drawing I did March 31st. Dang, I drew a lot in a few days. <laughs> um yeah and those are goldfish this day i ran away because i was really mad and i drew this crystal that was in my car and i drew me smoking a cigarette out of my hand because i'm so edgy and cool um yeah <laughs> these are more people i just found online that i wanted to try to draw and i like the things on the other side that's so ugly <laughs> Uh, this is cute. I like this. It kind of goes along with um, the other drawing I showed earlier. And this was just a character like spreadsheet kind of design. If you can't tell, that was like the only outfit I could draw at the time. This was, um, I think I was listening to It's Not the Same Anymore by Rex Orange County. And I wanted to do like me in sophomore year versus me now. Even though I don't look like that now. But it's kind of ugly. It's a cute idea. I might... I might retry to do it. That is so ugly. Don't look at that. <laughs> and I like those little sketches. And these sketches I actually really like. Uh, I think they're really cool. I like the skirts. And these are my favorite pieces. I did like a big mural of these. I like edited it all together in Photoshop. It's up on my page if you want to check it out. I might even put it on the screen. But yeah, these are my favorite pages. And then Wonder Egg Priority. My fan art for it. I love Wonder Egg Priority. Um, this, this isn't the worst. Um, it definitely helped me with drawing um, whales, but I don't know. I'm not that proud of it. That's like again like me sophomore year versus me now. And this was just the setup, like idea for my one of my ceramics projects. I needed to just draw the setup for it. And this, this is the most angering thing ever. I was gonna make like a ceramic book casing to put this book in, but I like, I just couldn't do it. Like every time I tried to sculpt the book, it just, it would like break and it was just so bad. And these were little things that my art teacher told me to write down, so yeah. And then up at the top was some notes for glazes. I was gonna like make the end of the book about for clay and then the front of it the book for drawing but obviously that didn't happen but yeah this is kind of a random page this this is cute i i don't hate this page this is the end page i wrote myself a letter which i decided that i will read out to you but at the top are some of my favorite songs when i graduated so like best person you know kyoto francis farmer will have her revenge and peace tree and then i did a little mural on the back page of me and all my characters so i decided to read out my note because it's very meaningful to me and i feel like it might help other people but it says dear gray damn you really made it through all four years i'm pretty surprised there were so many times you wanted to give up and nobody was there to listen. It felt like the whole world was rooting against you, but you pulled through until the very end. I'm so proud. You need to learn to be there for yourself when nobody else is. There's so many people out there to meet. You will find your people. You will get out of this town and flourish, I promise. There's nobody quite like you, but still we aren't so different. That's true. Anyways, no more worrying about English or mean teachers or essays. You graduate tomorrow. The day has come. You are finally free. I believe in you and I love you dearly. Stay strong. But yeah, and then this is the mural I made. But yeah, this is my very, very special sketchbook. Thank you for watching.